guys and welcome to another episode tutorial of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be going over vocal clarity. Um, this is something that's very important uh, in regards to a mix because nobody wants to hear muddy frequencies in your mix. So we're going to look at this vocal here and we'll play a little bit of it. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like a manimal. Okay, so that's the vocal raw. It's very raw, and it's it's um, there's no effects, there's no processing, there's nothing on this vocal. So, one of the first things I do with a vocal is I add an EQ. Now, I like to use um, a lot of stock plugins just to show people that you can achieve a great mix with stock plugins. And for the most part, mo many people only have the stock plugins. You know, they they can't afford the, um, you know. Uh, external expensive plugins that are out there so um, I like to show with the stock what you can achieve so I'm gonna go to the EQ and that's the first thing I'm gonna bring up so we want to play the vocal I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal I'm grabbing all boards like a manimal okay so here we've got the vocal and we can see that there's a lot of frequency over here and that's usually the stuff we don't want because um, that's the stuff that makes your mix sound very muddy. Now, mind you, this is a male vocal, so we don't want to take so much of it out to the point where you can't tell if it's a male at all. We just want to take out those frequencies that are annoying or unnecessary. So let's play it again. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like a manimal. Okay. Now, um... This is the Logic, you know, Logic EQ. Um, it's standard. If you use Logic Pro X, they, it comes with an EQ as well. It's got a little more features than this, but they're basically the same. But here I want to increase because I see that this region over here is kind of low. So as I play the vocal, I'm going to increase where I see the frequencies are a little too low. So we're going to play it. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Eating all these rappers like a cannibal. I know to make them crash like a bandicoot. Hold up. Okay, so as you can see, I boosted around here uh, just to get those highs up a bit. Um, I may even bring this a little lower. Don't want to put too much. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. And so over here, we can see in the 20, 20K region, there's nothing. So we could take that out to unnecessary frequency. Uh, we could go over here, put a high pass filter on this just to get rid of some of that muddiness. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Eating all these rappers like a cannibal. I'm known to make them crash like a bandicoot. Hold up. PS2 reference. Okay, so as you can see, it already has made a difference. Let's bypass. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Here. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. So you can automatically hear where that muddiness has kind of subsided in the mix. Um, and the vocal has more clarity. Um, so that's something that you can do to add clarity to your vocal. EQ out those low frequencies that are unnecessary. Something else that I do, um, I add a compressor. Uh, compressor is necessary to really, really... Um, you know, just get everything at a little bit of a balance. Um, so that that's something else you can add. Um, I have another tutorial where I go over compression, but you, you want to just make sure everything is balanced. So let's listen to it. I'll make adjustments. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Eating all these rappers like a cannibal. I know to make them crash like a bandicoot. Hold up, PS2 reference, just running it back so all of y'all can check it. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Eating all these rappers like a cannibal. I'm known to make them crash like a bandicoot. Hold up, PS2 reference, just running it back so all of y'all can check it. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Alright, so I made some sub subtle uh, changes there. Um, just to get that compression moving, but uh, the last thing I want to talk about uh, as far as stock plugins go and making your mix cleaner 
is uh, an exciter. And um, Logic has its own exciter. It's in the specialized area. Let's go over to an exciter. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. So you can hear when I boosted this to 200%, it automatically brought out these clear high frequencies when you listen to it. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. Drastic difference from. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. So what you want to do with this is play around. Get it set in a frequency range that it sounds comfortable, sounds nice, clear, crisp, and leave it there. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like a manimal. Eating all these rappers like a cannibal. I know to make them crash like a bandicoot. Hold up, PS2 reference. Just run in their back so all of y'all can check it. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. I'm grabbing all boards like the manimal. Eating all these rappers like a cannibal. I know to make them crash like a bandicoot. Hold up. So you can tell already that this vocal has been layered and changed. So if we bypass everything we put on. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. Muddy. And then. I'm known to rip a beat just like an animal. So that's a drastic difference. Uh, so that's just a quick tip to make your vocals more clear. Uh, of course this was quick and rushed so everything's not precise but you judge it according to your vocal in your ear and see how you want those vocals to sound. So that's all for today, guys. Until next time.